Now, some things to note with the A10 Mini Pro is if it doesn't come up, it doesn't mean that it's not working, but that you might wanna check the settings on your PTZ camera itself because if your resolution is set up to something greater than what the A10 Mini Pro is set up to actually stream and use, sometimes, not all times, but it will actually just give you a black screen, a blank screen. Um, you won't see anything and you'll be wondering like, is my cables bad? Did I set it up right? But it could very well be just a simple fix Go into your settings. So I know this for a fact with the Sony's is that if I put it in say 4K um, at 60 frames per second, I will get a black screen on the A10 Mini Pro um, for that camera input. And the reason being is because the A10 Mini Pro it only streams at 1080p and I believe it's up to 30 frames per second. I could be wrong on that. It might be 60 frames per second, but 1080p is the max resolution. And so when I put it on 4K on my camera and the ATEM is set up for 1080p, there's a mismatch there and the ATEM doesn't know how to process that. And I don't know that it can process that because it's just so much more information coming at it at once. 4K, is, it's, it's a lot more than just 1080p there. So you got you know four times as much information coming at it. So that's something just to keep in mind and maybe check out, right? What settings are the PTZs on? Make sure that they're set up to 1080p, 30 frames per second, and then go into your A10 Mini Pro software control, which I'll show you in just a moment. And you can go in there and make sure it's set up as well.